Hello everyone, this is Samantha Russell from 20 Over 10, and today I just wanted to walk you through some interesting things within the Google Analytics dashboard that will give you valuable insight into how your website is performing, where you're getting your visitors from, and what pages people are spending the most time on, which I know we all think are important pieces of data that we want to understand. So let's dive right in. So what you see here is the Google Analytics dashboard. I'm signed in um, and this is what you'll see when you land there, right? You'll be on this homepage. It will tell you how many active users are on your site or your blog or whatever page it is that you're looking at at that moment. It will give you some trends over the last seven days. So you can see uh, today is Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. So we just came off of a slower weekend. Everyone was enjoying the holidays. What I wanna to talk to you about today is this little section right here called Insight. So if we click on this, what's gonna be great is that Google is going to give you some insights into your website and how it's performing so that you don't need to decipher all this data on your own. So there's a bunch of different areas. We can look at basic performance, where you get your users from, understanding the trends, content analysis, lots of different things. So let's just click on where you get your users from, right? We can see some things. What are my top default channel groupings by users? So it's showing me I'm getting the most users from organic search, people just going online and searching for something and then they're landing on 20 over 10's blog. Next most is people going direct to blog.20over10.com. The next most popular one is referral. So that is they're on another website um, and then they get sent over to us, right? Maybe they're reading the news somewhere and we're quoted in an article and it links back to our blog. Social would be any of the social networks, right? So those are not counted in referral traffic. That would be things like Facebook or LinkedIn, um, even things like YouTube. And then of course, if they opened a link from an email. So you can go directly to this report and read more about it, or you can keep looking at more of the data. I can look at things like what percentage of my users came from organic search in the last 30 days. So if you're really trying to get more people finding you online through Google searches, you would want this number to be um, you know, higher rather than lower, right? So we're getting 66% of our users from organic search. But maybe we could say, let's compare the users for this month versus last month that have found us through search. So we click on that and it will show us that in April, 3,724 people found our blog through organic search, whereas in May thus far, the month of May is not over yet, 2,980. So a small dip, even though the month is not over yet. So this is a really, really valuable place to glean all sorts of insights, right? Maybe we wanna look at the content. We wanna know what are the top pages people are landing on our website and you know what pieces of content we've written, what blog posts we've written that are the most engaging that are bringing us in the most traffic, right? So here we can see what are my top landing pages. So this is the page that the most people land on. It doesn't mean the, the page that most people end up on once they're there in your blog or your website, but that they land on. So here we get some different URL extensions, right? So our category showcase page, uh, the best financial advisor websites in 2017 roundup, the best financial advisor websites in the spring of 2018 edition. It gives us a full list of all of those different pages, top pages. Now, if we click go to report, what's really great, it's going to take us to the section of Google Analytics that gives us this information in more detail. So we can see of those that read the best financial advisor website spring 2018 edition, remember these are the people that have landed on this page first. We can see there was 100 sessions, 84 individual people had 100 sessions. The bounce rate was 70%. They were averaging 1.6 pages per session and about 1.4 minutes on our site. But maybe we wanna know more information about this group, right? Of everybody who read this article, maybe we wanna know some more information about them. We wanna know, uh, let's see, acquisition, where they came from. So what was their um, path of how they got to this page, right? Where were they coming from? Um, Sorry, let's go to source. So we can see 96 of those sessions, right? 81 of those users 
came just from doing a Google search. And that's how they landed on that page versus three of them came from a direct typing in that URL. So what that tells me is none of these people landed on this page after seeing it on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn. None of it was from email for this time period, right? Now, if we extended that time period and we extend our date range, things may change. So maybe this blog was published much earlier, right? So we can see if this blog was published in the spring of 2018, um, we could go back into 2018 and we probably would get visitors coming from social when we were publishing it all over our social channels back at that time. But the value of a piece of content like that is we're still getting site visitors from it all of these months and even a year later. But you can see if we extend the time range, now we're starting to see people clicking on it from email, people looking at it um, from other search engines, somebody finding it on Facebook, different avenues, right? So Google Analytics provides such a wealth of information for you. And of course, they've always done this, but this new insights tab is just a really great place to find out even more pieces of intel um, instead of trying to dig through the data on your own. So to find it on your own screen, go to your Google Analytics homepage. Again, click that little insights button and start going through some of those trends. If you have additional questions about your Google Analytics, um, we offer Google Analytics sessions for $250 for any of our 20 over 10 clients. We'd be happy to have one of those with you where we log into your data and look at the information and then give you recommendations for things we would change, how we might restructure your website, change some of the copy to improve the lead generation that you are seeing through your website. So I hope that's helpful to all of you. If you have more questions about Google Analytics that you'd like us to answer, please send them to us at marketing at 20over10.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.